Hello children, let's read What a Team, illustrated by the Disney Storybook Art Team and written by Calliope Glass. It was winter in Arendelle and the happiest winter in many years. Princess Anna and Kristoff were reading in the castle when they heard the sound of children's laughter outside. Anna went to the window to see what was going on. Oh, she said. Come look, Kristoff, it's so cute. Kristoff and Anna saw three children building a tarbagan in the snowy courtyard below. Kristoff smiled at the scene, but Anna could tell he was thinking about something else. Out with it, she said. What's on your mind? Kristoff turned to Anna. Every year, ice harvesters from all over the world and their friends and family Gather for the ice games, he said. I bet those kids are getting ready for the Tarbagan race. I have always wanted to compete in the games. I would like to sign up this year, but I don't know where I could find teammates. Later, Anna told Elsa what Christoph had said. There aren't any royal events going on this weekend, said Anna. So I was thinking that we should offer to be Christoph's teammates. Elsa finished, delighted. Anna hugged her sister. This will be so much fun. Anna and Elsa rushed to tell Kristoff about their plan. You guys are the best, Kristoff said. Now some of the events can be pretty challenging. And Elsa, you can't use your magic powers. Of course not, Elsa agreed. We'll make a great team. No magic needed. The next day, the friends arrived at the ice games. It was the first day of the competition and they got in line to sign up for the events. Say, isn't that the Queen of Arendelle? said an ice harvester, pointing at Elsa. Hello everyone, Elsa said to the crowd. Who is excited to compete? A group from Arendelle, including the children Anna and Kristoff had seen from the palace window, cheered the loudest. They were proud to have a queen who liked to have fun. Anna grinned. She loved that the people of Arendelle were so fond of her sister. The first event was ice sculpting. Competitors have two hours to sculpt whatever they choose, said the announcer. Be creative and have fun. With just a hammer and a chisel, no magic, Elsa carved a gorgeous ice sculpture of the rock trolls. She won first place. Next, Anna and Kristoff were ready to compete. I don't care what the event is, said Anna. I know we are going to win. Time for couples ice skating, said the announcer. Unless it's that, Anna said as her heart sank. She thought she was a terrible ice skater. But the princess wasn't one to back down from a challenge. She and Kristoff did their best, speeding around the rink. Kristoff managed a little jump and Anna only fell nine times. They didn't win, but they had a lot of fun trying and they came in third. That night at dinner, Anna, Elsa and Kristoff discussed the competition. With Elsa's first place finish and Kristoff and me coming in third, we actually stand a chance of winning the ice games, Anna said. Kristoff agreed. All we need to do is win the Tabagan race tomorrow, he said. Good luck, said a small voice. Anna turned to see the little girl from Arendelle. Thank you, Anna replied with a smile. You made the ice sculpture of the palace today, right? The girl nodded. It was beautiful, Elsa said. And I know a little something about making ice palaces. The girl giggled and ran back to sit with her family. Good luck to you too, Anna called. What a sweet girl, Elsa said. She reminds me of someone else at her age. Me? Anna asked hopefully. Of course I meant you, Elsa said smiling. I wish I had been able to do more fun things with you when we were young. Well, we are making up for that now, Anna said. I'm having a blast. 
It will be an even bigger blast if we win tomorrow, Kristoff said. Let's finish our hot chocolate and get a good night's sleep. Early the next morning, Anna, Elsa and Kristoff piled onto their toboggan at the top of a steep hill. It was time for the last event of the ice games. Here we go, Anna shrieked. The trio rocketed down the slope with the rest of the racers. The toboggan went faster and faster and they quickly pulled ahead of the other teams. We are winning, Anna cried. Suddenly, another toboggan streaked down the slope and crossed the finish line first. The winners were the children from Arendelle. We won, we won, the kids shouted happily, hugging each other and jumping up and down. Watching them celebrate, Anna didn't feel disappointed that her team hadn't won. She just hoped Christoph wasn't upset. I'm sorry we didn't win first place, Christoph, Elsa said later when they stood together on the winner's podium. Christoph grinned. Don't be. I finally got to compete in the ice games and I think it's great that they won. Having friends you can count on is really important when you are a kid. Anna hugged Christoph. Having friends you can count on is really important forever and I have the best friends of all. The end. Hope you all enjoyed the story. Please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.